Hey everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. So it is time for May's reading wrap up and I'll jump straight in. The first book that I read in May was Cunning Women. I really enjoyed this witchy story. So this is about a girl called Sarah who lives with her mum, her younger sister and older brother and they are known as the cunning folk. So in the day they are shunned but at night people come to them and seek um, remedies for health and love problems and pe everybody knows that these are they're like a cunning folk family which is known as a witchy family and Sarah starts spending more time with a boy from the village and they start spending more time together they start getting to know each other and feelings develop but then a man comes to town who becomes one of the high leaders of the town and stuff starts going bad. At the time this is set, it is the Pendle Witch Trials that they have just been. So this is like the shadowing from those trials and the man that comes to town is still hunting witches. So yeah, it's... A really great book I really enjoyed it so highly recommend this and this is by Elizabeth Lee but I do if you do like your witchy books I, I recommend that then I finally got to reading Empire of the Vampire this oh, this was so so good so this is about Gabe Gabriel who is currently at the beginning of the book he is imprisoned the monster that has him imprisoned is making him tell his story from when he was younger until current and at times he's trying to rush Gabe but Gabe's like you need to hear the whole story to to understand everything and this takes you through so much of his heartbreak and the the way he is why he is who he is what he is Gabe's story goes through like his battles, his friendships, his his vows, his faith, like his loss. It's just an incredible story and I love the way that this is set out and it does like time hop between the past, the him being imprisoned and then there is also one where it's more recent. So there is like time jumps in this so if you don't like that you might not like this but it is done really really well it does not like disconnect you from the story at all and I just thoroughly enjoyed it I did if you can see that tab this book because I really really loved like the writing of this Jay Kristoff did an amazing job with the writing I really enjoyed that throughout it you had these beautiful illustrations to go along with the story and it is not just painting a picture of the story it's actually someone's paintings throughout the story so yeah I, re I thoroughly enjoyed this if you are looking for like a really brutal vampire fantasy series to start I highly recommend this one I didn't get to the second one Empire of the Damned which I wanted to but um, I am really looking forward to it now that I've read this one. I can't wait to jump into that one. And yeah, Jerry Kristoff did an amazing job. Absolutely love this. Chef's kiss. Then I went into a thriller, which was The Black Eyed Susans. So this is about Tessa, who 16 years beforehand, she was the last survivor of The Black Eyed Susan. So th these girls that had been put in this grave... And the grave was surrounded by Black Eyed Susans. So they was named the Black Eyed Susan. So she is the only Black Eyed Susan left. And 16 years ago, her testimony was the one that got this man that is currently imprisoned and about to be executed. She's the reason he is in prison. But then now 16 years later and the execution is about to take place, she starts receiving black eyed Susans being planted under her window and around the places that she goes. So she's like, did I put the right killer away? And she starts doubting herself. And this is a really page Tony thriller. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm glad I finally got to it. 
Then I read a contemporary romance, which is Funny Feelings. This is by Tara Dewitt. I really enjoyed this. I'm so glad that I picked up some of Tara Dewitt's books because I'm really looking forward to jumping into some more of hers now I've read this one. This is about Farley and Mayer who, um, Farley is a stand-up comedian and she has been in love with her manager for a while and this goes between um, two timelines one where they first meet and how their relationship builds and one is the current day of what they're dealing with. I really really enjoyed this story. I highly recommend this contemporary romance if you are looking for one. Really really cute. I enjoyed it thoroughly and I flew through it as well so um, it's a quick one. Then I read Claire Keegan's Antarctica. I did read this during a vlog so if you want more in depth you will you will see in that vlog but I did thoroughly enjoy this every single one of these short stories left you wanting more there was such a blunt ending to them and some of them I really really enjoyed Claire Keegan's writing is absolutely incredible I cannot wait to carry on with um, Claire Keegan's works I did wrap one up for my cart so hopefully I'll be getting to another one soon within this year if not I, i've got another one that i can pick up if i'm craving it sooner but th these short stories have they do make you feel like i know that sounds stupid but normally with short stories if i don't like them i'm like oh i'm so glad it was short if i do like them i'm always wanting more but no when a short story can actually bring feelings out of you it, like if, if it makes you scared if it makes you cry makes you laugh makes you attach to the characters and Claire Keegan has a way of doing that even in short stories I don't normally form that strong of a an attachment in short stories because I don't feel like I've had enough time to like delve into it but Claire Keegan has an incredible way of writing and there's such a range of stories in here missing children story there is um one to do with a christmas dance there's one with dating finding someone who sees you getting bored in your marriage because the man you're married to doesn't actually see you he just sees you as his wife and doesn't actually know you inside finding and seeking someone to do that there is so many really good stories in this so yeah i highly recommend claire keegan's books um the other one that i've read is foster i mention it every time i mention claire keegan because that book i really enjoyed and it's very very short so the next book is by emily mcintyre and it is hooked so this is more of a darker romance this is a peter pan retelling and i did love all of the little nods and character names and things regarding peter pan throughout the story and this is a standalone but it is in a series and I'm excited to carry on the series, get more of the books and more of the retellings because I did thoroughly enjoy this. I think the ending was a little bit rushed and all of the twists in it I think was made quite obvious. I, I could guess them all and I thought that they was made quite obvious but I did thoroughly enjoy the read so yeah there is that one. And then I read a series which is the bargainer series this is four books bound into one i thoroughly enjoyed my reread of this i was so happy when i unwrapped it and yeah I, I enjoyed it just as much as i did the first time i highly recommend this series it's a fantasy romance it is about callie who when she was younger she was making deals with the bargainer she put herself in this situation where she needed the bargainer's help so she called on him and she liked his company that much that she kept making bargains with him and every time that she made a bargain with him she would get a bead on a bracelet and she ended up with quite a lot of beads and then he disappears for seven years and she comes home one day from work and the bargainer is laid on her bed. So she was madly in love with the bargainer and she's like, what are you doing here? His name is Desmond Flynn and I love their back and forth with each other. So he is back so she can pay her debt that she owes him. And every time she does, a bead will disappear. 
and it goes into a much more detailed story it, there is i don't want to do any spoilers but if you read into it you will sort of sort of know but i would recommend going to it blind um and it opens up to a big massive world and yes the bargainer series i loved it the first time i read it i loved it the second time i read it and i highly recommend although the writing is teeny tiny so make sure you put your glasses on if you need them <laughs> and then i read a manga and it is i don't know which is love volume two so i was testing this out because the first one really confused me a lot because i thought that this was going to be like a cute coming of age trying to find herself with um her romantic tastes and stuff so this is about a girl who has been in love with her best friend throughout high school and then she's about to go to college she tells her best friend how she feels her best friend breaks her heart so she's like that's okay i will go to college and i will find a girlfriend there but when she gets there there is so many girls throwing themselves at, at her that she does not know which what is love she's like i'm, I'm tr attracted to her does that mean i love her um and she's still trying to find her way but it is very graphic in the girls throwing themselves at her and it doesn't read as a girl that's going to college it's like she'll see another girl and she'll be like boobs and so it reads like she's young younger should i say but yeah i don't know if i'm gonna carry on with this series or not i will have to see i probably will because i'm too nosy but yeah i don't know which is love so then I read a, another thriller. This is Eye for an Eye by MJ Ulrich. I really liked this one. So this has a little introduction at the beginning from the author. And it's on about younger people that commit really heinous crimes. And then them getting out and being allowed back into the community and they are being protected. This situation in this book is what would actually happen if the families of the victims actually found out where the murderer is and what would they do? Would they, is there revenge? Is there a hunt? And it, it really broadens your mind because you're following these characters. So you're getting the characters who's done these crimes you're going from their perspective and some of them you really feel for and you're like how did they end up doing what they did and it tells you like their backstory and how they was brought up and like it doesn't justify what they did at all and you're like oh no they're gonna get killed and then you're like but you know if it was a family member of your own would you would you want them to be hunted would you want revenge it takes a lot to forgive a person and it goes through all of that and it follows like probation officers and there is so many like twists and everything in this and it's like multiple stories of like different um, criminals and them being hunted or if the situation whatever the situation is i'm trying not to do spoilers it was a real eye-opening book and you sort of have really like mixed opinions on everything in this but the twists and the turns and the last twist in it blew my mind i was like oh my goodness i did not see that coming so yeah eye for an eye and i'm so glad that i managed to have a mj Ridge book to go to because I am caught up with the D.I. Helen Grace books now and uh, I miss I miss them already so much. And then I read Caged Wolf by Suzanne Valenti and Caroline Peckham. This is the first book in the Darkmoor series. So this is set 10 years after Dark Fae, which is the prequel series to Zodiac. So there is The Ruthless Boys which is the prequels to the Zodiac, then you have the Zodiac Academy, and then you have Darkmoor Penitentiary. 
and I loved this. I devoured it. Yeah, as soon as I got time to myself and knew I could have a bunch of time to read, I didn't put it down. I loved it. I don't know what powers Suzanne Valenti and Caroline Peckham put in their in their books, but it just makes you want to flick through them so fast. And I did start, so I will talk about the same same series because I have started and I'm right near the end and I will finish it today. So I will finish it this month. So I'm adding it in because I've literally got that left. I will finish that within the next couple of hours after I finished this. In this series, this follows Rosalie, who is a character from series, but she's not a, like a main character from there. She's a like a secondary character. But this follows her and her mission to right a wrong that she felt like she did when she was younger and also do a job for somebody and she needs to get herself into the Darkmoor Penitentiary, which she does right at the beginning of the book. And then it's her way of escaping and doing what she needs to do whilst doing that. So yeah, there, it is a reverse harem um, romance. So there is a lot of hunky men in there <laughs> and her. So, yeah, I highly recommend these. It's so so good i'm really loving the second one so much more and like this one i feel like it's her meeting all of like the main characters and her love interests and then this one is like building up on their relationships and getting to know them more um like the bonds for forming and stuff and i just really enjoying it and i can't wait to carry on and get to the third one so yeah that is all the books that I read in May. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you've been reading within May. Um, if you found any new favourites, I would love to know. Any recommendations, leave them in the comments. And I hope that you are well. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more from me, please subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! It is it the way I really enjoyed that. I'm not going to be able to find one now. Give me a moment. A really brutal. A, 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 if you are looking for a really beautiful, do mm, um, I highly recommend a if you are looking for, and I threw flu 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 flu. I I. I literally, oh, mainly the people whose family members that had been killed, what if they was told where to find the, the people that murdered their family members? That didn't make no sense. No sense at all. So this is what, this is, this is, blah, blah, blah. this is, this is, this is. It was a really eye-opening book, eye for an eye. Um, it was a really eye-opening book. Eye oh. <sighs> Do you know when I do these, I feel like I don't take a breath. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I get all the information out. And then afterwards, I'm like, what did I actually say? Did I, did I actually describe what the book was about? <laughs> and then I'm editing and I'm like, no, you didn't, you idiot. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Have you found some books that you're not that bothered about that you thought was going to be a five star? Because I hate that when that happens. But, you know, it's a thing. <laughs> I hope March is it, March. Mm. all my little slips for all the books that I've read need to go in me jar all the books I've read this year so far nice and colourful great I'm going to go finish this now and I'm really excited about it <laughs>